You don't need to sell blood clot drugs. Get yourself a Ross clot skill or a trade. You know, I'm just about to put my fucking uh, spicy mackerel in the mic. If you can hear it in the back, in it. And I was thinking to myself, if only the man them just got a skill or a trade, they'll be earning three hundred pound a day, maybe two fifty a day, maybe even two hundred pound a day. I can guarantee you, if the man them who were on road trapping and that, if they got a skill or a trade, and they were earning two hundred, two fifty, three hundred pound a day, they would not be on road. But you know why they're on road? Because they're too lazy to stay in college for three, four years, get an apprenticeship and that. Let me put this camera uh, down because it's shaking too much and that. Yeah. But yeah, man, most of the man they would not be on road if they could get a skill, if they had a skill or a trade. Like, averagely, I earn about three hundred pound a day. Of lately, at this workplace, it's been a bit slow or whatever, really, but that usually happens towards like uh, December and that. In the construction industry, it's kind of hard to get a job, uh, especially if you're working on construction sites and that. It's hard to get a job um, uh, around December and that. It just work slows down around that period of time. So, but yeah, I was just thinking to myself, as I was putting my food in the fucking in the microwave, I'm thinking to myself, if only the man them. That's it, that's it, done right there. And I don't know if you can hear that beeping in. I think myself, if it only if the man them just got a skill or a trade, they'll be earning 300 pounds a day. You lot see that video already where I had the money out on the table and no, it weren't no drug money and no, man's not showing off or nothing like that. Um, just to show people that blood, if you have a skill or a trade, you could be earning 300 pounds a day. That's as an employee. Don't get it twisted. If you work for a PAYE company, like let's say, a local borough council or something like that. Yeah, you're gonna be on some wage like 120 pound a day, but fuck that. Be a self-employed man. Um, just because you're self-employed, that doesn't mean you're running your own business. Self-employed just means you're working on contracts and stuff for other people, other big firms and that. If you're a self-employed electrician, you could get paid two, 250 a day, maybe 300 pound a day. It all depends on the contract and that. If you run your own business as an electrician, imagine you have your own contracts, you run your own business and you have sturdy income, like sturdy workload. And that. But you could be earning 500 pound a day easily. If you get the right work in, 500 pound a day easily. Easily, 500 pound a day, that's 100 grand a year. That's working Monday to Friday as well. If you're like me, work Saturday and Sunday and that, plan. Yeah, he'd be earning even more. A man don't want to do it. Come on, are lazy. As man say all the time, there's bare man right now that I know, they're not 40 now, they're older than that, but when I was 18 and them man they was touching 40, pushing 40 and that, they said to me, you know what? I actually jumped on the electrical course when I was your age, a little bit older or whatever, innit? but I didn't even complete it. You know what they're doing now? Well, certain men are selling drugs. Other men working for DPD. Other men working for Sky, BT. These look like idiot jobs in that. If only they put their ass them in college and stayed in college three, four years, they'll be on two, three, hundred pound a year, um, uh, hundred pound a day, maybe four hundred pound a day. It just all depends on the contract in that. But man, can't be working. Man, are lazy. Man, for break out of the laziness, make the sacrifice. Get your ass in college. Stay in college for three, four years. Yeah, you're going to be on some shit wage at first. But you know what? Life is about giving and taking. Life is about making sacrifice and reaping the benefits later on. Again, that must say all the time. The reason why a lot of the Jamaican shops don't last long, the shops then close down before there's any fucking dust on the side outside. is because them man, they have a quick buck mentality. So what they do is they say, yeah, boom, we're going to set our prices sky high so we can make quick profit. And when no one's buying your food and that, you ain't getting no business, rent still need to get paid and that. Business going bust. Like, if I was going to run a restaurant and that, I will go in cheap. I will go in cheap. I will be literally trying to just above break even. Just about break even for the first couple of years or whatever. Really. Obviously, you have to pay yourself a wage and that. But I'll make that sacrifice. Make sure the food's on point, obviously. Lure people in. Get people accustomed to coming to your shop every weekend, every two weeks or whatever. Really. 
and then slowly but surely increase the price and that. like there's even one shop in in a Chinese shop in Edmund Hin Loon any of you lot from Edmund know about Hin Loon that, that's my household's Chinese shop mad like to the point where I've gone into the Chinese shop to order food and I told them my address I told them my road I said yeah number eight such and such road they're like oh you're from that I'm, yeah they're like, oh, we've been delivering there for years. I said, I know. I know. Regular customers and that. Anyway, slightly digressive, slightly digressive and that. But yeah, man them for, for fucking just get a skill or a trade, man. I know it's long. It's long. It's long at first. I remember a man working at um Homes of Harringate. Boy. Working in them dirty houses and that. Man working for five fifty an hour as an apprentice. I was on basically 37, 40 pounds a day. Imagine working for 40 pounds a day. Imagine that. So you're basically on 200 pounds a week, 800 pounds a month. Call it a grand a month. Imagine being on a grand a month. But you know why you need to do it? Obviously, if you're 30 years old watching this right now, still jump on a trade or get me get a skill get a trade in it yeah you're never too old like i said there's a man who i know who's 30 years old he was the 30 year old apprentice sound like a ross clark movie this is a true story isn't it that's my brother isn't it you're never too old isn't it but it's best to do it when you're young because when you're young when you're 19 18 19 17 years old or whatever isn't it? yeah it's all right to be broke it's all right to still be living at your mother's yard on 40 pound a day and that you don't really want to be getting to 30, 32, 33 years old, what, on 40 pound a day? As an apprentice. I know, man, 45, 50 years old, they're apprentices. I remember there was one guy at Holmes Harringay, became an apprentice. My man's well into his 40s. So imagine, a man's on 40 pound a day, you know? Now, let's say a man's probably, he, ha he has to be doing other things on the side. That's that microwave again, if you can hear it. The man has to be doing other things on the side to sustain himself. Unless he's literally living rent-free at his gyal's yard or his mother's yard, which is, again, you know my feelings on living at your gyal's yard, and uh, I think it's an idiot thing, innit? You know, I think man for have their own place and a gyal come living with them, innit? But a reason, that's one of the reasons why I'm, certain men get to a certain age and they're like, nah, fuck this apprenticeship thing or getting a trade and that, because they have to feel, they feel like they're going back in time. Forty pound a day, and that. This is why it is important to make those sacrifices as early as possible. It's not a fucking joke. Imagine, yeah, if you're thirty years old right now, whatever wage you're on, yeah, just imagine you're on hundred and fifty pound a day, three hundred pound a day, whatever in it. Imagine you're on that wage now, and you're living comfortably in it, at thirty years old. Isn't it? Imagine having to go back to forty pound a, a day. You'd say no. You'd fucking say no. Why would you want to be going on them? Why would you want to be 30 years old and then going back to them mad wages, like £40 a day? Like you're some fucking teenager. So you don't want to be in a position where you're 30 years old and you're only on £120 a day because you're on some, you know, working some idiot job and that. And he thinks to yourself, do you know what? I need to make that sacrifice. Go back down to £40 a day. So eventually in four years time, I could be on £300 a day. You don't want to have to do that. I'm saying that if you're 30 years old, you may need to do that. You're never too old. But what I'm saying is don't wait. And if you're 20 years old right now, don't wait until you're 30 years old to, okay, let me do something productive in my life. Do it now. Time is running now. Time is running now. Time is running now. My 20s, my 29 now, my 20s have gone by like that. Like that, literally. But you know what? Man's got three properties to show for that time, you know. There's certain man right now, 40 years old, the 20s went, the 30s went, they're 40, bam. Nothing to show. They got one, two use, though. They got one, two use. That, that's, that's all they got to show for their... Uh, their, their 20s and their 30s now, they got one to use. Congratulations. In effect, they ain't got nothing to show, car. It don't cost nothing. You don't take no sacrifice to bust nuts, you understand? So, 
Okay, you don't want to be one of them man there, boy, boy. But, like, me, I'm glad that man's utilised my time during my 20s and that. So now I'm in a position where, like, my, my grandchildren could inherit my property. If I so choose to, you know, keep this property here or whatever. I don't know what I'm going to do with it in the future or whatever. But yeah, my Matthew's going to get cold, isn't he? I just going to make this quick video. It ain't too quick. It's like 10 minutes and 25 seconds or whatever, isn't it? Yeah. You don't want to be put in a position where you have to go back to some mad wages. Furthermore, that's why a lot of drug dealers can't leave the game. Imagine a man earning a grand a day. Imagine you're a drug dealer earning a grand a day. Let's call it 22 working days in a month. 23 working days in a month. You're earning 23 grand a month. To then go back down to fifty pound a day to become an apprentice. That's why certain men don't leave the game. Or you know they might not even become an apprentice. They might just get a look at easier job, DPD, Sky, where they're earning fifteen hundred a month and that. The man are earning ninety pound, a hundred pound a day. Man, will think it's so bad. I will go link Alan in the fucking alleyway and make more. From that one shot, that one dot, that one link, I'll make more money from that one link than I would in a whole fucking day. I can't go back to being a uh, a fucking postman. What? Wear my shorts and red high vis and bag and satchel and and putting letters through people's door. I can't go back to that. But bro, that's gonna be your future, fam. Either that or in jail or dead. They always say, oh, there's two ways out of the game, innit? You're either in prison or you're dead. I'm saying that there's a few more, innit? Yeah, at least you're going to be on some mad wage. Yeah, you're going to be working some shit job. Or you're going to work some shit job and then go back to the game. Or you're going to become a crackhead. Anyway, I'm out, man. 12 minutes and 9 seconds. Turn off. Get your fucking self into Ras Clark College and stop me. It's a damn lazy. I'm out.